guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here today and spending your time with me. I really appreciate it. First ever YouTube video and I actually had a different video planned for today that was more like an introductory type video introducing you to who I am and what got me into doing makeup. But I received in the mail a couple of days ago some products that I am really very excited about and I saw I really wanted to film with them and they are from a new company and I thought well what better way to introduce a new channel than with a new company so we're just going to go ahead and get started as you can see I already have my makeup done I did that so that we could focus on the products in front of me I will have everything listed down in the description box everything that I used if you're curious you can look that up so we're just going to get right into it so these are products that I did purchase myself um, from the brand Every Lash. And this is a brand new e commerce company. They launched October 5th of this year, 2021. They have been working to get this brand up and running and established since the beginning of the pandemic, which I applaud them for because with resources being limited the way that they are, it has been very difficult for them. And they've been sending out emails throughout the leading up to their launch they've been sending out emails and I've read a lot about their story and how they came to be and the struggles that they had to go through to get to where they are so I just really applaud them for their tenacity and getting these products out to us the general public now I do want to say video is not sponsored I am not affiliated with this company um, however, I was allowed to shop their website before it went live to the public. I was given a 50% off discount code, so I bought the entire mega bundle that they sell, and I got it for half off. So thank you, Every Lash, very, very much for giving me that code and allowing me to buy these products. I'm sorry if you hear my children in the background. They are home today. It is fall break but I really wanted to film this. Um, I also have a little bit of a cold, so my headspace isn't totally functioning, but I'm gonna try to get through this as best as I can with them as a distraction and with my cold. Um, so there are four sets of lashes that every lash launched with. I will be showing those to you in just a moment. They also have some tools that they launched with, some accessories. They have the eyelash curler, uh, pink and rose gold eyelash curler with their logo on it. They have another rose gold. This is the lash applicator with a little lash comb on the end. They have lash scissors so that you can adjust the size of the lashes if you need to. You can trim them down to fit your eye better. They have um, three lash magnetic lash liners in the shades black, brown, and the one I am most intrigued by is Magna Clear. So I'm going to be swatching these for you real quick, just so you can see, um, I mean, what they look like. I mean, they're black, brown, and clear, so. Okay, the black swatches very smoothly. Ooh, I like that a lot. Uh, actually, I probably should have shook that up a little bit before I applied it, but. Oh, no, 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 what just happened? That black, I'm sorry, I got black liner all over the place. Hold, please, let me clean this mess up. So, I have the black swatched. Now we will do the brown. I'm going to just give that a quick shake. Um, if you are not familiar with how magnetic liners work, they work with iron oxides in the liner and that is what the magnets stick to is the iron oxides in the liners and I kind of went um, onto Google and did some research into li the magnetic liners and how they're made and um, iron oxides I researched some iron oxides okay so here's black brown and clear now these will dry down. The clear it has kind of a white cast right now, but when it 
it dries down, it will dry down clear. So iron oxides normally come in shades of yellow, orange, red, brown, and black, which is why they brown and black are the most popular shades of um, for the for the magnetic liners. I did do some research and I found out that there are transparent liners, but every lash is the very first magnetic lash company to come out with a clear magnetic lash liner, which I think is just really super innovative because the band on the lashes are kind of thicker uh, because they have the magnets on them, so they have to hold, they have to be thick enough to hold the magnets. And so you kind of already have a natural line when you apply those lashes to your lash line. Extra liner on your eyes, and so to have a clear, you can see now it's dried down. It's here. It's dried down clear. I'm trying to see if I can get it to reflect. Kind of. Yeah, yeah they have dried down. They're not... They're not moving. Well, that brown one could move a little bit. It wasn't totally dry. But when they're dry, they are dry. They're not moving anywhere. So, um, all right. Well, let's get into this. I'm going to show you the different lash styles. So the first lash style is called the Active Lash. It is Hydro Silk. It is made with Hydro Silk lashes. Of every lash that they created, there are 10 mini magnets. These are all handmade and they are reusable up to 50 wears. The Hydro, uh, the Hydro Silk lashes are waterproof. I said this is the style active lash. This is more of a natural kind of everyday lash, I would say. And then next we have Hustle Lash. Now this is um, a hundred percent mink lash. Um, it also has the ten little magnets on the band. It is handmade and it is reusable up to 50 times. This style is shorter on the inner corner and longer out here on the end. So that will give you kind of a more natural cat eye look if that is something that you like to wear. That just kind of helps lift the outer corners of your lashes and will give you a more lifted cat eye type look. The next set of lashes is also 100% mink. These are called the Day Lash. They are a little bit more dramatic, a little bit darker, a little bit more full. And um, yeah, they're really beautiful. I think those are ones that I would probably get a lot of use out of. As with the first two, I can see myself getting a lot of use out of. Now this one, I don't see myself using quite as often. These are super dramatic. These are also 100% mink. These are called the Date Lash. And as you can see, they are super long. I can see myself wearing those out on a date with my husband. You know, if we go out on the town sometime. Oh yeah, all right, so those are the four different lash styles. I really am interested in this Hustle Lash. I'm going to apply these and I'm going to apply these with the Magna Clear liner because like I said, this is the liner that I am kind of the most interested in. So I'm going to just apply this real quick to my lash line. And with magnetic liner, you want to apply the liner to be about as thick as the lash band is, which in this case, because they have mini magnets, which, okay, all magnetic lashes have mini magnets, but these are super mini magnets. Like I have other lashes, magnetic lashes that I have, and they, the magnets on those are a lot, not a lot, but they are bigger than these lashes are. Okay, so I've got one eye done. I'm going to attempt to do the other eye. I'm not very good at applying liner while talking. So I may apply this and come right back.
So it says to give that a minute to dry down, so that's what I'm going to do. It looks like this side is already pretty dry though, so it's already clear. So you can see on this side how it has a white cast to it before it dries. This side is already dry, so that white cast is gone. So we are going to go ahead and apply to this side first. I'm going to try and show you the magnets. I don't know how well you'll be able to see those. There are ten little magnets on there. Like I said, with other lashes I have, there's typically six, I think, between five and six magnets. And this is also a very small lash band compared to some of the others I have. I might have to grab a pair of my other lashes out just so you guys can see. Alright, hold please. I'm going to apply these. That's a very young. Let's do the other side. I can see them pretty well when I turn my head to the side, but looking straight on, I mean I can see them just fine in my mirror. It doesn't look like you can see them very well in the monitor. So you know what we're going to do, I'm going to decide which style I want to wear. I think, let's try the active lash. That was the first one that I showed you. I'll just show it to you again to remind you. This was the more natural lash. Please excuse me, my cold brain isn't working right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go in with the active lash. And we're just going to apply these right where I put that liner, right along the lash line. Went on so easy. So easy. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, they're on there. Okay. Nice. I like it. I like that style a lot. It's more of a natural, everyday kind of look. Um, let's get this other one on here. I'm excited. Okay, I've got the active lash on. My initial reaction is that they are super easy to put on. They are comfortable. I don't feel them. On my lashes, they're not poking me anywhere, they're not irritating my eyes yet. I do have eye allergies, I do have sensitive eyes. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about these. These look so nice. Okay. Okay, so I do have one other thing that I want to show you, something that the Every Lash did send to me as a gift, and this is a product that they have not launched yet, that they have not shown anywhere on any of their social media platforms, and they have given me permission to show it here on my channel to you for the first time ever, and I am so excited about that to show you. So this is the Every Lash brown lash that they will be coming out with next. Now it does not have a name yet. This is just some kind of generic lash packaging. Um, 
because there is no name for this product yet. It's just called their Brown Lash. Now, in all honesty, I told them I was going to do an honest, honest review. I think that these should be called a blonde lash or a light brown because these are actually a lot lighter than my natural lash color is. So I could not wear these um, even without, you know, I could not wear them without mascara. I certainly couldn't wear them with mascara even if I was wearing brown mascara because these are so light. Um, I actually talked with my sister. She is a natural blonde. I'm just going to show you the difference between these and the black. So you can see how much lighter they are. And I kind of hope that the Every Lash Company will come out with a shade between this one and this one. Um, we have a little bit more of a Shade, a better shade range. But my sister is a natural blonde. She naturally has very light colored eyelashes. So I am going to send these to her. I'm going to have her try them on, take some pictures, send those pictures to me so I can put those up on my IG and um, let you guys see what they look like on somebody who has very light colored eyelashes. So um, if anybody from the Every Lash team is watching this, I think that they should either be called a blonde or a brown blonde color instead of brown. I also think that the lash band is too dark. I do and I don't, and here's why. Because the lash band is black. Now, I know the magnets are black, and but I think that the lash band could probably be either brown or somewhat similar, a more similar color to the actual lashes. However, that being said, my sister likes to wear mascara. She likes to wear eyeliner. And so with these having a black lash band, it gives the appearance of having eyeliner on without actually having eyeliner on. But you don't have the mascara effect with these lashes. So she would basically be looking like she was wearing eyeliner with no mascara, which would kind of make her eyes just, I don't know what's going on. This is not sticking down. I'm sorry, I just realized this. Let me see if I can fix this real quick. Hold on, please. Sorry, my lash is sticking up. I'm just going to let that dry for a minute. Okay, so that's the problem with these, in my opinion. I think that either the lash band is too dark or the lashes are too light. Now, I am going to send these to my sister, like I said. I'm going to have her try them out, give me her honest opinion, um, let her be the one to decide how they look with the dark band even though the lashes are light. Okay, I don't know what's going on with this lash. It's not staying down. The other one's doing great. Okay, so I had a little bit of a technical difficulty with this lash that I just fixed. This inner corner just wasn't sticking. It had nothing to do with the lashes themselves. It was just me had to readjust that. I think I left off talking about the brown lashes and how I was going to send them to my sister and have her do a review of them. I still feel like this one corner just isn't staying down. I'm not going to mess with that anymore. Okay, so I'm going to wear these lashes the rest of the day. They are feeling very comfortable. I don't feel them on my eyes. I don't... Uh, they're not irritating my eyes yet. I've had them on for a little while now. At least the side I have. The side hasn't bothered me at all. This side's giving me a little bit of trouble just with this inner corner, but again, that's that's my fault. That's not the lashes' fault. So, um, I will come back in a little bit and I will do, well, probably in a, a few hours. What time is it? Oh my, okay, so it's, <laughs> it's a little bit later than I had anticipated. It is actually 
1224 p.m. So I'm going to wear these lashes the rest of the day and I will check in before I take them off so that you guys know how they wore, if they made my eyes itch or water or burn or hurt in any way. I don't anticipate that they will. I've had, like I said, I've had pretty good luck with their other magnetic lashes staying on and not bothering my eyes. So I'm just going to leave these on the rest of the day and I will see you guys back here in a little bit. Okay, so I am back. I have been wearing the active lash from every lash for about eight hours now. It is currently 8.26 p.m. Um, before I give my final review, I did want to show you the difference in some of the other lash styles that I have. I showed you the band of the um, every lashes earlier. So here is a pair of lashes from Glamnetic. They have on them six magnets on their lash band compared to the ten magnets that are on every lash lashes. I also have a pair of lashes from Moxie Lash and they have on their lash band they have five magnets on their lash band. So I just wanted to show you that, show you the difference. And here is the band from the Relash with the 10 magnets on it. I don't know how well, their magnets are so tiny, I don't know how well you can see them. So those are just the difference, the differences in styles, the different types of magnets that are being used on different lashes, lash brands. So my final thoughts on the lashes, they are very comfortable to wear, I've been wearing them all day. Uh, I had a really bad headache earlier, I took a nap, I slept with them on, they still look fine. Um, they didn't get messed up or they didn't get bent or anything. They, this corner is kind of starting to poke up a little bit, but they haven't bothered my eyes at all, that my eyes haven't been irritated by the lashes or the lash adhesive. So all in all, I'm pretty satisfied with these. I think they are pretty great. I'm going to wear several other styles in the next coming days. I will film other videos using them. And I will have the Every Lash website in the description box linked down below. I will also have a link to their Instagram account if you want to check them out. Um, I highly suggest looking them up for yourself, and so yeah, I think that's it. I'm ready to take the lashes off, take my makeup off, take some NyQuil and go to bed. <laughs> this cold is whooping my butt. So anyway, I hope you all have been having a great day. I hope you stay well, stay healthy, uh, stay beautiful, and I hope you will join me in the next one. Thank you. Bye.